The German manufacturer of audio equipment Magnet has released a new device that can do everything. I don't even really know what to call it a music center. Or an amplifier, streamer, all in one. Because, he can really do a lot of things and looking ahead I will tell you that he really cannot do two things. The very first thing it cannot do is, on the front panel it has an input for a USB flash drive or a USB disc, but the paradox of this modern streaming amplifier, Music Center, is that it only accepts drives that are no larger than 8 gigabytes and only support the FAT system. For example, I stuck my hard drive for 2 terabytes here. And unfortunately, I had to admit that Magnet MC400 does not want to read it at all. In addition to not reading large hard drives, it has another small feature. But about her a little later. Also, on the front panel, Magnet MC400 has a 3.5 jack line input and here you can connect portable devices, such as a telephone or a portable player. To Magnet, you can connect headphones with a 6.35 plug if I'm not mistaken, and of course I connected my Sony MDR-XB1000 headphones here, which in principle is almost high-end, but really underestimated. About how Magnet MC400 sounded with these headphones, of course, I'll tell you in the sound section. It is interesting that this magnet can read CDs. You can actually put a CD in here and it will play it. By sound, it sounds great and again, what sounds better streamer or CD, or they sound the same, I'll tell you in the section about sound. Also, on the front panel is a chic volume knob. With these buttons, you can tune the radio receiver, that is, this device is a radio receiver, both analog and digital. These buttons are for selecting a source, look, by enumeration you can select all its sources, both digital and analog. The block of buttons to the right of the display is responsible for menu navigation. Here, you turn the CD on and off, navigate through the menu, and so on. Also, on the front panel, there is a chic little display that shows all the necessary information. You change the volume level. Please, the display shows changes in the volume level. If you adjust the timbre balance from the remote control, add bass or add highs, then of course, all the information is displayed on this small display. Do you choose using the app Magnet, Tidal, Spotify or another streamer? You will see everything on this small display. The appearance of Magnet is quite attractive. It's neat, compact, there's nothing superfluous and at the same time, the Magnet MC400 actually has just about everything you need to integrate it into your home audio system. Oh, and of course, I forgot to tell you that on the upper left corner, he has a magic high-res nameplate. If you, my friend, think that high-res will help you in this life, then of course this may be important for you. But in fact, high-res recordings only matter if your audio system is really high-end. And here I'm talking about systems worth tens of thousands of euros or dollars. On the back panel we have two blocks for connecting various sources. The first block is digital. The most important in my opinion, the connection method that I really like is the HDMI plug with the ARC protocol. With this protocol, you can connect your TV using an HDMI cable and control the volume on your amplifier using your TV remote control. This is a really cool feature. You can also connect here using optics, using coaxial, of course, there is a Bluetooth receiver here. You can also connect this device to the grid using a Wi-Fi antenna or using an Inhernet cable. On this, in principle, the methods of digital connection end. By the way, I forgot to say Magnet MC400 is controlled by a proprietary application from your phone or tablet. That is, this is another way to send an audio stream to this streaming amplifier, music center, all in one device. By the way, the application is called Magnet Audio Stream. I installed it and it was pretty easy for me to use it. 
but in principle, when using Tidal, I can tell you that the menu for using Tidal is quite strange. About the same as in HEOS. If you use the original Tidal app, then everything is simple, clear, familiar. But if you connect Tidal through the original Magnet MC400 application, everything is a little different there. With a little poking around, it's pretty easy to master the whole thing. In the analog block, everything is basically standard simple. Firstly, you can connect a vinyl player here using the built-in MM Phono stage, and secondly, two RCA line inputs. That, in fact, is all of the analog inputs. That is, in the end, you have four analog inputs, one on the front panel, three on the rear panel. Also, from the analog one, there is a line output called RecOut with a constant signal level. You can use this output, for example, when rewriting cassettes, or when rewriting reels, or for some other purposes. And also it works as a line output. Also, on the back wall there is a subwoofer mono output called subout, and you can connect an active subwoofer there in order to amplify the bass component in the music. Also on the back wall there is a DAB radio antenna, so to speak, a simple radio antenna, and one pair of speaker terminals for connecting speakers. If you want to connect two pairs of speakers, you will have to hook them up to one pair of terminals. But this is something from a series of perversions, my friend. I promised to tell you about the second drawback of this device, how can it not be connected? As you remember, the first Kosciuszok of the Germans, in that a modern device, reads only hard drives or flash drives up to 8 gigabytes. Which in our time is a little com il faux. And the second Kosciuszok is that this magnet MC400 cannot be connected to a computer via USB. But you still have optics, coaxial and HDMI. In the end, you can absolutely easily connect this magnet MC400 to your computer via Bluetooth. Be sure to make sure that your computer supports the aptx HD codec, which provides high-res audio resolution. And if your computer does not do this, then I recommend getting a special flash drive that can be plugged into USB, and which will work as a Bluetooth signal transmitter from your computer. They are inexpensive, sound cool and so you can put them together. If you have any questions about this streaming amplifier, this multifunctional device, so to speak, feel free to ask in the comments. I will be happy to answer all the questions of the viewers who have subscribed to the premium hi-fi channel. So subscribe. With all that said, I would say that this streaming amplifier, an all-in-one, is a very good fit for any household that wants quality sound. If you want to connect it to a TV, if you want to play a CD on it, or if you want to listen to the radio, it even has a digital radio, but in principle this is not relevant for our Latvia. Because there is no digital radio in Latvia. If you want, play music via Bluetooth, if you want, stream music from the application on your phone. If you want, connect it to a vinyl player. This is truly an absolutely multifunctional device. Yes, you can still listen to headphones by connecting with a plug. It's great guys. Now I'll tell you a little about the technical characteristics. By Bluetooth Magnet MC400, receives a signal using the aptx HD codec. That is, in principle, a full-fledged high-res, which you can get via Bluetooth. Digital inputs support signal up to 24 190 seconds. When reading from a USB drive, on the front panel, Magnet decrypts MP3, WMA, AAC, FLAC, APE, WAV. At the device, 40 slots for memory of radio stations. CD plays CD audio, CDR, CDRW, MP3, WMA formats. Rated power of Magnet MC400, I pay attention. Nominal, that is, it means that at this power, 
Magnet MC400 operates within the distortions declared by the manufacturer. So, at 8 ohms 2 by 40 watts, and at 4 ohms 2 by 60 watts. This power is absolutely completely enough to provide sound pressure to small and even large rooms, depending on which acoustics you choose. The weight of the Magnet MC400 is almost 7 kilograms. And this weight includes four anti-vibration legs so that the amplifier does not vibrate during its operation. What a fantasy! For complete information about the technical parameters of Magnet MC400, see the description under this video. And also ask questions in the comments. I will be happy to answer all questions from viewers who have subscribed to the premium hi-fi channel. In the AVEX showroom at Katlikalna 9A entrance F, I listened to this magnet with Heco Avrora 700 floor acoustics, and you know, I like the sound. Magnet paired with Heco Avrora 700 work very neutrally. I would even say that this sound can be called studio and monitor. Very accurately draws the texture of the music, starting with the bass and ending with the very top. In the amplitude frequency characteristics, my friend, I did not hear any audible bulges, and some flaws and audible distortions. The depth of the stage, which I heard on different recordings, varied between about one and a half and two meters. Magnet MC400 sounds fun, healthy, perky, cool and plays vocal music, instrumental, electronic perfectly. My favorite ACDC it also plays very well, without at all smoothing out the bass texture which is extremely important in ACDC. Briefly speaking, despite the fact that this device has everything that can be put together in principle, it has a DAC, and an amplifier, and a radio, and Bluetooth, and a headphone amplifier and an amplifier. Magnet MC400, works well and beautifully. The music is definitely fast and dynamic. Clear, neutral. When listening to music, I did not hear any coloration. I didn't hear any influence from the amp components or speaker components. Yes, I will say again that I like this sound. In my opinion, by modern standards, perhaps the device lacks a bit of bass. But again, this is a subjective opinion that concerns me personally. Judging objectively about the amount of bass in this device, the bass is definitely enough. But of course, you always want more. This is probably why there is a sub-out output on the back wall, to which you can connect a subwoofer. By Bluetooth, Magnet MC400 sounds a little simpler than when using a streamer. This simplification does not spoil the sound, it makes it a little different. That is, both Bluetooth and streamer sound good here, but I would rather use Bluetooth, for some optional purposes or rarely. The sound quality of a CD, compared to the sound quality of a streamer, is absolutely identical. I listened, and I didn't catch any difference between playing a CD and a built-in streamer. Both of these sounds are cool, clean, clear, dynamic, fast, textured, with a nice nice clear stage. Which goes beyond the speakers by about one and a half to two meters. By the sound of the headphones, I'll tell you that when I connected my Sony MDR-XB1000, I realized that, in principle, it's better not to connect expensive headphones to this magnet. If you have headphones costing around 100, 150, 200 euros, this will be a good match for this amplifier. But it makes no sense to connect something more expensive there, because the sound of well is about a notch more simplified than when listening to music through acoustics. Well, I finished watching a new video about high quality sound. Bye.